So taking a little bit of a closer look at this warning here on the composite radar, you can see it is located just over Braga as of right now. Lots of heavy, heavy rainfall in this area. So despite even that tornado warning, also expect a little bit of localized flooding also possible with this system. Let's go ahead and see what this latest storm track looks like for this particular system here in the next few minutes, all the way through the 615 expiration date. Storm cone, let's continue it all the way through here. Again, if you are in white stocking at around 610, you can expect to see this warning for your particular area. 617 near Plier and 625 near Shaken. Again, and, then, and if you are in any of these areas, make sure you take cover and you crouch and kneel as low as possible once you reach that tornado safe spot, whether it be the basement or the storm shelter or the interior room where there is no windows. We're going to continue to keep an eye on this again. No updates so far from the National Weather Service, but still seeing that broad rotation here. Let's change it over to the velocity. This is what they're seeing currently just over Burga, this, this little bit of rotation. Again, and this is just where the intersection of 53 and 117 meet. Again, if you are traveling north on 117, please take cover again. Or if you are on I-40 connecting with 53, this is where we are seeing that bit of rotation. Again, this is where we are seeing this right now, just to south of Murraytown and just to the northeast of Burgau. If you are in any of these locations, make sure you take cover. Again, I'm going to show you what that, that cone looks like. If you are in this cone, please take cover. Let's head on over right here. That's where that, that tornado warning. Just to show you where it is here in our designated market area. Again, this warning is going to last until around 6.15 this evening. Keeping an eye on this. Again, moving northeast, this tornado warning at 15 miles per hour. And again, what this warning means is that a severe thunderstorm is capable of producing a tornado. It's located over Bergam. What you need to do is move to shelter immediately and, and seek that into your room. And of course, a reminder to make sure you protect your head while in doing so. So one more time, let's zoom into where we're seeing that rotation here in Burga. Continuing to watch this just to the south of Murraytown right now. Velocity sweeps again are updated anywhere between 90 to 120 seconds. So we're continuing to watch this rotation here as we are sitting right here over to the, just to the south of Murraytown. Right here, this is the warning cone as well. Shelter neck clear just to the northeast of Burgot. It is moving northeast at around 15 miles per hour. So for those of you that are in the cone, make sure you take cover. Let's go all the way through the next 15 minutes to show you when we'll start to see, hopefully, that there's this expiration date. Here's around 15. If you are in this area, make sure you take cover. That's, a, that's just to the east of, excuse me, just to the west of Plier as well. Again, we're going to continue to watch this tornado warning. And for that, for that, so that specific spot, white stocking, make sure you're taking cover in that particular cone where we are seeing this rotation indicated by the radar for this tornado warning. So we're still watching the, the radar and Doppler radar sweep for any sort of more rotation, but it looks like as of right now, it is beginning to weaken, which is some good news. And again, it is just to the south of Murraytown. Again, there's that warning cone for those of you that are in it. Make sure you take cover. Again, this has been just, just issued at around 5.50, so for about 10 minutes. We're going to continue to keep you updated on this tornado warning. Again, it has an expiration date at around 6.15, so about 15 more minutes. And what this means, this tornado warning means, is a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located over Burga and it is moving northeast at around 15 miles per hour. So a reminder for you guys, make sure if you are listening to this and you are in that cone to find your tornado safe place, whether it be in the basement or storm shelter at best. But if you do not have one of those, another safe spot to go is interior room or hallway and of course away from the windows. And once you get to that safe spot, make sure you crouch or kneel as low as possible. Protect your head in case of debris. And of course, of course, turn this broadcast up as loudly as you can or live stream and await the all clear. Again, still waiting for any updates here for the National Weather Service, but the tornado warning still continues for Pinder County. Again, issued about 10 minutes ago. 
Looks like it is going to continue to keep running at this point in time until around 6.15. So still going until around the next 15 minutes. Again, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located over Bergaw. Getting more into specifics right here in Pender County, continuing to watch this as it continues to push northeast. So as of right now, it's sitting in northeast Pender County. Again, just moved over Bergaw. We're going to continue to watch this rotation as well. So with the velocity sweep just through the last little bit, seeing a, just a little bit of rotation, but again, not quite as formulated here. So a little bit more disorganized, but the warning still continues per the National Weather Service. So we're going to keep that warning here. I'm going to show you what that box looks like. Again, that's the rotation that we are seeing. I'll draw it just right on here. This is right over here, again, right over I-40. So if you are planning on driving on I-40 and driving north, please take shelter. Find the nearest storm shelter. Again, here's that cone for those of you that are in this area. Again, pushing northeast within the next 10 to 15 minutes until that expiration date. Anywhere between now and then, this is what it looks like for that cone. So again, pushing northeast 10 to 15 miles per hour. If you live in this cone, make sure you take cover. Again, a tornado warning has been issued, so a, th a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. And we are seeing a, just a little bit of rotation as the storm continues to push northeast. We get updates just about every 90 to 120 seconds. So we just begin to see a little bit less organization on that rotation, but continuing to see the warning in place. So we'll keep you updated here as this tornado warning continues across Pender County, just to the northeast of Bergaw. So as of right now, looks like there aren't any updates. So storm, tornado warning continues to plow forward. We're watching here in Bergaw right now on, at this tornado warning. Let's zoom in here on what we're, where we're seeing this particular location here. Just on that intersection here between 53 and 40, if you're riding 53 eastward, we're starting to see that rotation here heading toward Shelter Neck right there in White Stocking. If you live in any of these areas, please, ta please take shelter. Again, it's continuing to see that rotation as of right here, right here toward Murraytown. Again, continuing to push northeast at around 15 miles per hour. This tornado warning is still in effect, which means a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located over Bergaw, moving northeast around 15 miles per hour. Please move to that safe place right now. Still watching that warning is still issued across the area. Again, this is what the safe place is for your particular home. It varies. So if you have a basement or storm shelter, make sure you go there. And if you do not have one of those, still a good spot to go that is safe as the interior room or the hallway away from the windows. Please, once you get to that spot, make sure you crouch low and kneel as low as possible. Protect your head in case of debris and turn the sound up loudly on the broadcast or live stream and, of course, await the all clear. Again, the tornado warning is still in effect here at around 6.04 this evening for northeast excuse me, northeast Pender County. Again, looks like it is going to continue till around 6.15. No updates as of right now for the National Weather Service. So continuing to see that tornado warning in place, although, again, rotation not looking too organized currently at the moment. So let's head on over to the Doppler radar to see our latest check on this tornado warning. Again, this system is moving northeast, so in the next around 10 minutes should be out of our market area, but we're still going to keep an eye on this as we're watching this warning still continue for the next little bit. This is where that rotation is again one more time for the area as it continues to move toward Shelter Neck. We're still watching this continue. We just got an update from the National Weather Service. That tornado warning is still continuing. Again, that tornado is currently located over Murraytown or near Bergal, moving northeast at 15 miles per hour. So still watching this rotation, particularly right here as it continues to push northeast. Again, if you are in Shelter Neck, please take cover. This is what we're, where we're seeing that rotation right now, just over Murraytown. If you're traveling, if you're on 40, best to be safe than sorry. Make sure you head on over to the nearest shelter as well, or if you are on 53 as well, 
still seeing this system continue to move northeast between 15 to 20 miles per hour. So as it continues to move northeast, continuing to move into northeastern Pender County as well. Again, we're still watching this tornado warning that is in effect right now against 606. And for those of you that are in the tornado warned area, make sure you take cover. This is what it looks like right now. We're watching this tornado warning still in effect as of right now. Again, lots of, even if we're even seeing that tornado warnings, lots of localized flooding is possible with this storm as it continues to plow through Murraytown and into Shelter Neck here in the next five to 10 minutes. Again, if you are in this cone, a reminder to move toward your tornado safe place where that is. It's heading toward the basement or the storm shelter. And if you do not have one of those, of course, the safest next place is to be in the interior room or the hallway away from all windows. Again, this, and once you get to that safe spot, crouch or kneel as low as possible. Protect your head in case of debris and turn sound up loudly on the broadcast right here. I'll keep you updated by the National Weather Service at all times or live stream and await the all clear. Again, that tornado warning continues. It was issued at around 550, so it's been issued here for just about 17 minutes and it's going to continue here most likely through the next five to 10 minutes. So watching as it continues to push northeast into northeastern Pender County, just to the north northeast of Bragal, what this means, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located over Murraytown or near Bragal moving northeast at around 15 miles per hour. Still watching this, although <clears throat> not seeing really any notable rotation with this system. However, still a bit right over Murraytown as it continues to plow northeast at around 15 miles per hour into Shelter Neck. Again, if you are in this warning, make sure you take cover. As of right now, again, not seeing any real notable rotation right now, which is a good sign. However, that tornado warning is still in place, so I want to be safe rather than sorry right now. Here's that cone. For those of you that are in the cone, once again, make sure you take shelter. If you know somebody in the cone, maybe give them a call if you, may, if you think they may not be hearing this broadcast. Again, moving toward shelter neck here in the next five or so minutes. Continuing to see this little bit of rotation, although it is not tight, right over Murraytown. So let's go ahead and see any updates again that we have. The updates that we do get again, for those of you that are just tuning in with us, happen anywhere between 90 to 120 seconds. So we get updates in about that amount of time to show you what those radar new sweeps will look like in terms of rotation, in terms of storm development. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that as we are also watching out for updates per the National Weather Service. Here as we close in on 610, Looks like five more minutes here of this tornado warning still sitting over Murraytown and heading toward Shelter Neck. If you are in any of these locations, remember to take shelter. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado is located over Murraytown or near Bergaw, moving northeast at around 15 miles per hour. Again, from a meteorologist standpoint, not seeing too much notable rotation at the moment, which is a good sign. But however, this warning is continuing, so it's good to be safe rather than sorry as this system continues to move northeast around 15 miles per hour. Again, for those of you that are in this cone, finding your tornado safe place is the best way to go. The safest place to be is in the basement or the storm shelter. But if you do not have one of those, a reminder to go to the interior room or the hallway and away from all windows. And once you get to that spot, make sure you crouch or kneel as low as possible. Protect your head in case of debris and turn this sound up loudly on this broadcast. And of course, await the all clear, whether it's on this broadcast or on the live stream. Again, continuing to keep you, give you updates as this warning continues here in northeastern Pender County as of right now. And again, it is moving northeast, so should be out of our area in the next five to 10 minutes, but we'll continue to keep you updated. The National Weather Service still says the severe thunderstorm is capable of producing a tornado still located over Murraytown or near Bergaw, moving northeast at around 15 miles per hour. So it is trucking along as of right now. Let's get a better look at what that rotation looks like at the moment. It looks like it is beginning to cross that line into the other counties, but let's see if we see any more notable rotation. Not seeing any real organization as of right now. Let's go ahead and look at the warning cone. 
continuing to watch this right now over Shelter Neck as of right now. And in the next few minutes, going to continue to plow northeast. Again, this is what that cone looks like for the next five or so minutes that this tornado warning should be set to expire. So again, moving through Shelter Neck right along 53. If you are driving and you hear this, make sure you go ahead to that the safe shelter, as safe as closest by shelter, I should say, and get to a spot where you are safe. Again, this tornado warning is in effect until around 6.15, so four more minutes as of right now per the National Weather Service. Again, and if you are not in this area, still watching these heavy rainfall, a lot of heavy rainfall from these scattered showers and storms move through across the Cape Fear region. So if you are just driving, make sure you take it slow, make sure you don't hide your plane, make sure you take it nice and easy, give yourself some extra time when you're heading toward your destination. Base velocities, though, not too organized right now, but we're continue to see this warning in place here for the next few minutes. Again, if you are in this cone, this means that you are in a warning. And it looks like as of right now, I've got some pretty good news. That warning has been expired. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Okay.